50, 60 percent, and he is going to be off stage against Ness. I, yeah. um, you know, struggles to get out of PK fight, even though I do want to say Mega's DI was impeccable. And honestly, no character edge guards I quite like Ness. Nobody really has a tool to challenge quick draw quite like Ness. Um, so characters like Snake or the people with like homing projectiles, um, they're going to be especially adept at, at uh, doing so. However, okay. that's not the game that we're playing right now. We are going to be seeing Joe Pone and Visceral. What's the sauce? Well, this is a uh, Weepa Trainer versus Pikachu. I'm not familiar with this matchup in the slightest. Mm -hmm. Joe Pone, uh, this is the first time that he's actually made it this far, I believe, in winners. So good stuff to him. Oh, that's going to be another best five, five set. And we're going to get to see, I guess, how the matchup kind of develops. Uh, I think Joe Pone is friends with, um, is friends with Louis Jesus. And they do play together often, from my understanding. So you should know this matchup. Yeah, yeah, he can definitely be quite familiar with it, for sure. Um, they're both pacing this really, really slowly right now. Nobody kind of wants to commit to anything. Both of them are just like sort of throwing out a projectile and seeing, and seeing okay, are they going to get hit by this? And can I get stage from it? That being said, did you see? What was that? Yeah, Soccer Ball is uh, super active now. Uh, unlike in Smash 4, where it had to be like a certain velocity, even if it's going very slowly towards you, uh, it can still hit and it can still cause some combos. This roll, getting a pretty good jab into, uh, into down tilt to kill. Something I've noticed that Visceral does a lot that uh, a lot of other Weaver trainers don't is that he always tries to have the thing on as opposed to trying to reserve it specifically for when he's trying to go for kills. Mm -hmm. But uh, he'll usually just like just put it on just to see if he can get it in place. Yeah, Visceral is getting off the ledge really, really well um, against Joe Pun. Um, he just, you know, honestly, he's just understanding the. Wow. That down is, is ridiculously active. Honestly, there's something to be said about characters like Pikachu or Zelda. They have like such amazing down airs where sort of like the secondary hit, and especially like Captain Falcon, I think can be just as like scary as the initial one. Yeah, so you see like Jopon dropped his shield by mistake uh, when uh, when Visceral did the jabs. You have to be very careful against the trainer, especially because it looks like Joe's not ready to match when he gets around it. Mm -hmm. uh, it is possible to match out of Leafit's trainer's uh, jab if you're ready for it before she can do anything. You gotta be very cautious, especially towards Kill for some, because there's no longer a knockback reduction in getting hit out of ground in this. I like the use of the jabs um, in the corner though, because it's like such a quick, non committal way to just sort of slap Leafit in the face a little bit, deal a little bit of damage, and maybe like force a bit of a panicky recovery. I like that for Jopon. Oh, this is definitely his stock to take. It could have been either player's stock at that point, um, but he had committed a little bit too um, too quickly. He might have just like wanted to wait a tick longer before pressing a button. This is gonna go right in, but still not gonna be hit by anything. And that was a 50-50 at that point, right? He's like set up a juggle. He's like, okay, either you're gonna go that way or that way. Um, and so he flipped a coin, um, and so the next time he, he could, you know, just flip it again if he ever sets him up in a similar scenario. Yep. And here we see like a major proponent, a major proponent of the matchup is going to be who gets the kill first. Uh, we fit trainer not sh not just really flush with kill options. But... Damn, dude. All right. <laughs> I guess they're both kills. Yep. He tries to set up, um, you know, like the double up tilt, but Pikachu doesn't have the biggest hope box in the world. Really wouldn't set up into like that frame trap um, from the neutral air dodge. Visceral might want to wait like a tick longer before he goes for the second up tilt. I see him like drop that a couple of times. Already. But with that being said, really, really nice, you know, bit of damage from Joe Pone there. This was his edge guard, but he backs off at the very last moment, not wanting to contest we hit off stage. Definitely a good choice. You know, Header is very disjointed. Uh, if you get hit by it off stage, you're gonna die regardless of what Especially like at this percent. Yeah, you just you just flat out done. Wow, that header almost connected. Ooh, that was a risky jump. Uh, Joe very <laughs> Pikachu clenches his teeth like an anime protagonist. We definitely just saw Pikachu get his eyes poked out. Yeah, he's like, Shaw! You know, as as he's <laughs> I'm just, I'm just like watching this right back on like on the house shooting right now. Look at, look at this, right? Jumps in, right? And then, and then, and then. Yeah. Let me poke your ears. Poor Pikachu. He's got a fat head. 
Honestly. You guys have to like think about the fact that Pikachu has like a really fat head. You know what I mean? I mean you mean for a mouse? Yeah, you're right. He doesn't have a neck. He just has like a really fat head. To be fair, most I, th I think most uh, most rodents don't have necks. Hmm. I think I think honestly, it's literally just a head attached. That's to just that's just like a goaded thing. To a bean type body, a potato. She Pikachu is kind of lo looks kind of like a flying squirrel actually on it because he has like the little. He has like yeah, a very vacuum, like I think, I think like the back kid um was definitely you know like a little bit inspired off of it. But isn't Emolga like the the, the flying the flying squirrel, squirrel electric type? Yeah. Because yeah. I mean, we gotta have an electric road in every generation, guys. Come on. So wait, is this best of five or three? This is best of five. Ooh yeah woo hoo. Top eight's gonna be best of five for today go. because winners is running uh, a bit slower than usual. So I was like, yeah, the losers can't have extra best of five. Ooh, good combos to start with from uh, Chubby. And it- Oh my god, he's dead! Wow, that's all you need really. Like, honestly, Weefit, she has so much offstage presence, but everything that she does offstage, I feel like can be really committal. Head of deep breathing, like charging sun salutation. If you are, you know, agile enough, you can just run off and spike her. Yep. It, it is a very, very viable counting play, but only if you're like super confident in positioning. You know, the fact that like, Weep the trainer is very terrifying to fight when she has uh, when she has header in her back pocket because it's so disjointed. But at zero percent, you're gonna make it back regardless. So why not just go for it? Just go for the spike. If you're at a uh, fifty plus, probably you know think a little more about that. That was really a uh... oh my god, Jopon almost as being like fifth time tonight. I would count that as an SD actually. That was yeah. a really ill-advised ledge release. And just like that, Basuel is like able to almost completely even it up. Did you, did you see that wave that bounced on Salutation? Uh, that was cool. He just kind of yeah. mixed up Joe. He kind of, he kind of, you know, crossed his ankles a little bit. So congratulations to Visceral for turning around a zero to death moment. Uh, yeah. It's pretty even now. Oh it's my really goodness! That's super deep fair Ooh. killing because he air dodged. Ooh. Not sure what he was trying to tech in the blast zone, but all right. You never know. <laughs> you never know. There might be a wall out there. Yeah, you know, people don't people don't often go back that go out that deep. Maybe they'll find Randall back there, just chilling. They'll be able to tech on Randall. <laughs> Maybe that's where all the hazards went. <laughs> <laughs> the game doesn't remove them; it just puts them off to the side where you can't see them. You have a point zero zero one percent chance of teching on Randall, guys. Try your best. Oh my um, god. That soccer ball did so much for the visceral mode. That completely saved her stock. It was excellent. Delicious even. So I understand Pikachu's F Smash is like a zero risk maneuver on the ledge. But it's really interesting to see Jopone just kind of Oh, is that death? That's that. Yeah, I think between the uh, the tilting of the stage downwards. Not to mention the fact it was literally on the ledge. It was just 100% But alright, it's a 1-1. One, one. That was a really good counter pick from um, from Jopone. I uh, expect not to see that again. I really, I, I have no doubts that um, that's probably going to be Visceral's band. One of Visceral's bands going forward, but I guess we'll see in a minute. Alright, and Jopone is banning. Hmm. Are you not banning? There you are. All right, so you banned Town and City and PS2. Joe in it. We have Mega winning, waiting in losers finals, and winner of this is gonna play him. Most likely, we're gonna have uh, winners finals immediately after this, and we're probably gonna go directly to losers semis afterwards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A little bit more Weefit, a little bit more Pikachu action. They're going to be taking it to Battlefield. 
Um, Tali ceilings might help with, with some kills. I do feel like Pikachu might be a little bit vertical kill oriented. Up the um, up smash, down B, you know, trying to like kill off the top like that. Can you say that, but like, I want to say almost all three of the kills from the last yeah. match were all horizontal base. Mm -hmm. Maybe like something with the platform positioning is just going to allow Visigal to pace it a little bit better. Good call out on the quick attack using, um, you know, something as active as the head of, you know, just like putting a projectile like, like that in front of Pikachu, you know, going to do so much for them. <laughs> Nice to combo. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, that wave land that Visigal did, like, he kinda asked to get hit like that. He wave landed, I, th I think, on the platform for no reason. He put himself into so much line lag, and Jopon was just, like, able just to catch it really quick. You know? Yeah. So Ethan Trainer has a lot of really quick. Oh, Ugh, no. Again, missing these techs. He tried, so, so he tried to DI in and tech it on the side, but this does not have flat, um, you know, like, stage lines, right? It's, 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 it doesn't have, like, flat slopes, so... And even not... then, like, he was at too over percent for that to be techable. Yeah. Uh, there's also the fact that, like, it was, like, the first or second hit of back there. He wasn't in, he wasn't in any risk of getting stage fights, unless, uh, until much after, so just, like, I don't know what he was expecting there. <laughs> Oh my wow, god! What a call out. No, I mean, Joe Pone with the call out. He's like, I don't need this third stock. I don't need this. I got you. Yeah, now you see, like, Visigal, he starts to recover high a little bit more. He tries to throw out his head as he's, like, going high. Um, he's a little bit scared of getting, you know, hit by something like that. Quite again. Gonna be spiking Pikachu. Oh, oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Okay, he's alive. I'm sorry for I'm surprised that we fit was able to recover from that. He deep. was at he got hit with that at like 15. But did you see how deep that combat was? That was deep that gov. I mean he had a second jump, he had And it was battlefield. If this was PS2 it would have been over though. Honestly. Yeah, but... He might have been oh my god, he might have pine up. Well that would have been so unfortunate too. I would have cried. Ugh, but like this is like the third time that this rule has air dodged into the stage and almost died for. The other two times he actually died for it. Yeah, this, this, I mean, I mean, hey, it's improvement. This time we never died for it. Yeah, no, it is, it's definitely improvement, but it's like, that's, this is really like highlighting the fact that Visceral is a little too, um, just air dodge is a little too much, and directional air dodging is really dangerous. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, that was a good ass smash from, uh, Joe Pwn. Joe yeah, Pwn he made it out to get up attack really with, you know, with, like, that dash back. You know, he was able to punish it effectively. Was that a 3 0? No, this is 2 1. Oh, um, 2 1. I won the first one match. I forgot. Israel squeaked out the first match pretty well. I see. Who beat Mouse Red and Winners? It was. Oh, yeah, it was Fang. It okay. was Fang 9 ounce. Where is Fang? Where is he? Where Fang is, is he? a loser. So he's going to be playing the winner of Luigi's Dash. As much as I would love to see either of those matches, uh, we're going to definitely go into Winner's Finals after this. Sad. So That's we're right. most likely gonna do winners finals this time and then we finish up the events. So right, how's so your day been, Jeff? Like what's what's happening with you? Um uh, I finished my black garlic experiment. It went really poorly because I did not seal the uh mm -hmm. I didn't seal the garlic well enough. Mm. It molded? No, it didn't mold, it just got rock hard. Huh. Well wait. That's okay. It's, it's supposed to undergo a card stage, isn't it? No, not, not unless, like, you uh, let too much water out. Hmm. So, like, what happened? You let too much moisture escape? Well, yeah, I let too much moisture escape, so it just became... It became, like, the little rocks. I can't even slice some of them with a uh, knife. You could, like, turn into a powder. That would be really cool, huh? Well, I guess I could do that. I might do that. I have some that are okay, but I'm doing another batch with different, uh, different like parameters. And mm -hmm. But all right, we have uh, ZSS. Yeah, no ZSS. I've seen this people talk about you know his ZSS on Twitter a little bit. Um, haven't seen it in action though, so this is going to be a first for me. Already looking pretty good for Joe Pone right now. Tries to get a little bit of damage off of the paralyzer into the fall in neutral air. Not able to find it though. Mm -hmm. Wi-Fi like is in the house, and she's fighting pet Wi-Fi. Yeah. He is whiffing a lot. And now that's face. Oh he my god! That read! I'm not sure if that was actually a read or if he just got really lucky. But either way, you know, good stuff to Joe. 
This is looking like a really good game for Joe Pony right now. I feel like Visigil, he's kind of like hitting the air a lot. Um, and, and whenever he does actually connect the hit, he's not getting like too much off of it. <laughs> that was a little bit of an awkward interaction. Joe Pony was a little bit too late to pull the trigger on the F smash. Um, and so that ended up trading with the F tilt, I believe it was. F tilt is like such a good button for ZSS. Um, but you don't see any bad button for ZSS, the jab. You know when a jab comes out? Frame, frame two. one. one. Frame one? Right, it's the one. It's a frame one jab. I just, I just hope everybody knows that. It's not only a great good off the option. These are both characters that have like relatively low lag unless they make a mistake. Oh my god, that power was really nice. Actually nice. Yeah, that's the only way he was able to get the back hit off of it. Really, really smart on Joe Pong's part. Um, you know, just recognizing that he could indeed get the punish. Neutral getups, but uh, nowhere close to be hit by that down smash. But Sugo needs to understand that Pikachu's a small fella. He needs to be up a little bit closer if he wants to land it. Jopon just like he's kind of carrying this lead really well, and that Thunder Jolt is gonna take it, just barely pushing ZSS away from the stage. Uh, once again, he is going low, he's going under the stage, just sort of waiting all of that out. Ugh. I thought that was the ledge with the grab, actually. I, I, uh,. I'm surprised he was still able to get back on quite safely. Look at these up -ills. Look at these up tilts. Already 40%, and he is holding the stage confidently. He has still yet to lose a stock. I do respect the fact that Visceral did go through the ZSS switch because, like, he's not. He's like, you know what? I'm getting kind of bopped. I might as well mix it up at this point. Um, so even if it's not working okay. out. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want. I was gonna say I want to see Visceral just go for like the super. Yeah. Okay. How's your day been going? Since you're kind enough to ask. Oh, I made dog food. Oh, you made. Yes, I saw that. That's really, really cool. I'm so. Uh, Luna it's, must it's, be it's, it's the such happiest. Basic, dog. It's such basic dog food, but she's so happy to have it. Mm -hmm. oh, that's, that's the sweetest thing that you could possibly say. Yeah, she's just like. <laughs> what? Oh my god, okay, 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 okay. Um, so, when I... When I looked at the chat between Jopon and Visceral,